Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the drum bus device in Ableton Live 10. So what I have is a kick beat loop thing here. And I'm going to be affecting it. And I'm going to be using drum bus in a way that I want to use it, which is a little bit uh, different. So I'm going to drag it in here, and I'm going to explain what each of these sections does. So we have kind of three sections here kind of delineated by these lines here. First section we have drive. And the important thing to know about drive is that if you hit uh, shift question mark, if you don't have the info view already here, and you hover over these and you check out the uh, different types, soft is a wave shaping distortion, medium is a limiting distortion, and hard is a clipping distortion with bass boost. So these all have their own applications and they kind of don't do what you think they do. So keep that in mind. Trim reduces the audio of the input level. So if you're getting way too much like, holy crap, drive, uh, bring this down and then you can uh, you know, bring this up with a utility afterwards. And uh, the compressor applies to uh, sorry, applies a fixed compressor before input distortion, which you know, you can use, but also you can just, you know, drag a compressor in beforehand. Uh, but yeah, it's nice that that's in there. You know, they have some pretty good thoughts. Uh, crunch. Crunch adds extra, extra distortion to the mid-high frequencies, which is pretty interesting. And uh, the dampening kind of, kind of EQs that afterwards, so like, it doesn't it doesn't, you don't get like the hardcore fuzziness on the high end. It's simply a, uh, a filter. And then the transients is the kind of transient shaper, which is kind of also like a compressor. It's not related to the crunch and the dampening, but it's in that section anyway, which is interesting. So boom, what does boom do? What does boom do? What does boom does? What does boom do? <laughs> boom basically uh, detects uh, sub frequencies it detects kicks and things like that using some sort of transient or envelope follower and it will add some low end which in this track this little loop here is an excellent example right so yeah with it kind of in all kind of on the default it's already a bit aggressive which is cool you know you can increase the boom You, know, you you can go super crazy with it. The you know this is you know a one knob fits all. So like you know you might even just need like a little bit in here to get the um, to get the good stuff. You can adjust the frequency of the bass and uh, the the uh, note um, is displayed here. And if you actually click on it, see it's at five five seven. You can just click on that and it goes to five five zero. So it has you know important context to what node it's in, uh, which sounds pretty good. So what I want to do is I want to use the drum bus in a way that I kind of emphasize and add in more low end to this. Let's just mute this. Boring, not boring, but like, you know, kind of unbassy drum beat loop thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit this uh, headphone button, and this will audition the boom. And uh, this gives us a good example of what decay does. Decay will kind of clamp down or fully open up the uh, bass. Right, this is just an example. As we increase the decay, the bass will sustain longer. Right, so let's... Uh, Let's get this going here. I'm going to use hard. Just with that low end. Sounds like this. Right? Gives it a lot of energy in the low end. I want more control over this. You can, you know, have the dry wet going on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this into a group. Get rid of that question mark thing. I know what I'm doing most of the time. And I'm going to enjoy just soloing the bass here. I'm going to add an EQ afterwards. And I'm going to add 
a very steep filter right here. Right, so that is some low end right there, and we can compare. Right, so from here, what I'll do is I'll add a new chain, which is our dry, and then add in an EQ8 and just kind of carve out that low end a bit. Right, so we have our uh, base here. All right, so take a listen to it like on and off. A lot of a lot of low end action going on there around the kick, and um, yeah, it's just a, a wonderful kind of tool. And yeah, you know, obviously put an EQ afterwards and shape that, do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. We can also make the decay longer. We can also mix it in as well. Maybe I should do that. Right, isn't that amazing? Yeah, totally adjust the tone of that uh, loop just with uh, Ableton's new drum bus plugin using things in a way that they weren't really intended to use, but you totally can. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.